I know I complain a lot about the builds that came in Realm of Magic, but I just cannot believe that they released a world like that. Every single lot in Glimmerbrook is like genuinely bad, even the starter home. It almost feels effortless, and I don't mean that in the good way, I mean that they just like didn't put effort into it. <sighs> It's just really disappointing because I feel like this world being like the magic world has so much potential. I've definitely renovated this house before, but I kind of want to try it again and see if we can improve upon um, whatever concept it was that they were going for with this. I think this is by far my least favorite starter home in the whole game. It, it's just, it's such a disappointment. I do want to keep the vibes. Like I love the idea of a pointy roof and these fun doors and windows, but I, I think that maybe it could be better. I do want to stick to the budget though, so this lot, including the cost of the lot, is worth like 17000 I think the house itself is like 15000 So we have like 2600 left over, and I think I'm gonna give myself like an extra 500 simoleons just to account for some slight depreciation in value, because now that I'm living here, when I delete something, it's not gonna sell for the full price. But I don't think I'm gonna delete a lot of furniture. I'm probably just gonna try and move it around, because there's not really a lot of it. And I'm probably gonna end up using the same like counters and fridge because realistically I we can't afford anything different. We could just hopefully, you know, place it in a different way that is more appealing. I'm just gonna delete the roof, okay? I'm we have to redo this. It doesn't work. We can't keep it like that. I'm also gonna delete the underside of these stairs because that's like an immediate huge amount of money. That did delete the doors and windows, but oh my god, 1264? Hold on. Let me move that over for a sec so it doesn't delete them. The underside of those stairs was 544 simoleons. Why did they do that? Why did they use them? Do you think that they even know that the underside of the stairs is too expensive to keep? Like, they're the ones that make the game. Do you think that they realize that part? Because that's like Starter Home 101, you know? Delete the underside of the stairs to save some money. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. <laughs> well, I wanted the house to be more of a normal shape because I thought that would make the roof a little bit easier. I'm also probably gonna get rid of this hallway. I think that it makes more sense to like shrink the building a tiny bit. I do like a hallway in my sims builds. I feel like it's kind of a nice touch. It seems very realistic, but in a house this small, there's no point paying all that money for one. I might just stick all this stuff in my inventory, to be honest. I don't know why I'm sat here trying to like goot it all around. I'm going to try and keep the furniture, but I, I'm not trying to do that right now. We're trying to readjust the floor plan to like an extreme degree right now. So we'll do that first and then we can come back to the furnishing. So at this current moment, I feel like this is genuinely like a, a nice layout for the house. This this is kind of like two bedrooms now though, so I might make it be two bedrooms. I'm actually kind of thinking we could add a bathroom maybe right here, and then we could keep these two bedrooms as two bedrooms. Listen, I know I just got done saying like, oh, we don't need to have a hallway, and now I'm adding one back in, but I like it better when it's smaller. This one feels more necessary. The one before felt like we didn't need it, and it was just there. And you know what? We could probably have this bathroom be really small. Small is good for starter homes. Small is helpful. <laughs> it saves money. I think I want to do a different flooring too. Realm of Magic does have a flooring, but I don't remember if it's expensive or not. Oh, it's only four. That's the same cost as this. We could probably use it. Oh, that might be kind of fun. It's sort of fancy to use this flooring. Realm of Magic also has a really nice like cobblestone floor. I might use that to make some sort of patio outside. I think we could probably afford it. Okay, so floor plan wise, I was thinking I might put the dining table over here. I might do some sort of small living room situation here. Oh, this is terrible. <laughs> It's so small. I might actually need my space back. Hold on. I don't want to use this rug. This rug does not work, okay? But then I thought maybe the kitchen could go like maybe along these walls or something. Kind of like that. Um, Maybe I could put the living room over here again. Oh, I hate it when I have doors like this. I hate having a door in the corner. It's like my least favorite thing ever. I just don't like it when the doors are only in one tile cause look, it's like clipping the sides. You can't see the full door. It really, really bothers me. I might be overthinking it, but it's just not my favorite thing. How would it look if we did the hallway like this? I don't usually do hallways that small. Okay, wait, here's an idea. What if we made this a bedroom and then we did the bathroom like over here kind of adding to the house. Might make the roof more interesting. I mean, there's no reason to do that. 
the bathroom's gonna be like empty. <laughs> but we could do it bigger. That could be interesting. We have 5,000 simoleons left. Do you think it's doable to furnish this whole place with that much money? Maybe this could be the bathroom and then this one could be the extra bedroom. Can I shrink it again? I don't know. I think when in doubt, make it smaller is kind of a safe bet usually. <laughs> Maybe I'll try this. Okay. I wonder if we could try and make it tall. The thought process being like it could be kind of tall and pointy. It's hard to do this because you can't like layer the pointiness. Let me think. Maybe we could have it be pointy this way. Oh, that's very, very pointy. <laughs> Wait, not that pointy, just a little bit pointy. And then if you press shift C, it like smooths the curve. We could have some more pointy in the front. We could put like a fake dormer up here. That's money, but it might also look nicer. Oh, this is so random compared to the original build. <laughs> I've completely changed the whole thing. That's okay, that's okay. It's kind of fun. We never said it had to be like, you know, the same. We were just trying to fix the house while channeling some of the original vibes. And I, I channeled some of the original vibes, like I said I would. I didn't change everything. Oh, I can make the walls shorter probably. Does that help? That actually helps a lot. It's gonna be a lot cozier in here. Could probably scoot it back on the lot a little bit more now too. Oh no. <laughs> These Realm of Magic fences are like way too fancy. Okay, that's probably not gonna happen then. We can use these cool wooden windows. Yeah, I feel like that actually looks really cool. I might be doing a little bit too much with the arches here, but I do like how they look. So I'm just gonna keep it up and we'll see how it goes. I think I've got them in the wrong height too. Yeah, they're all at different heights. I think lower is a little better. Oh no, it looks bad from inside. Never mind. Higher. Realm of Magic has like a really nice fancy brick that we could use instead. I don't know if this is like totally ridiculous or not. Some of the swatches are a little ridiculous. I'll give you that, but it does look kind of cool. I feel like it just doesn't match that well with the swatches that we're picking. So like I want to use it, but it doesn't match. It's like the matching version of this base game brick. So we can use that too. Well, they have like this gray before, so we could also lower it loads and then we wouldn't have to pay for stairs. Interesting. I think that this might have potential, but it's very, very, very brown, <laughs> um, which maybe isn't that good. Okay, hold on. What about this swatch? Because the darker one kind of matches the roof color. So if we use the darker windows and then the lighter brick, how about that? I think we might be onto something with that. Okay, we actually might have saved this one. I was starting to get worried there for a second, but it's coming together. I think I'm going to try and use this darker foundation, maybe. We have that nice Realm of Magic flooring there. Maybe I can try and use that to have a little patio over here. The problem is all these fences are terrible. <laughs> I don't want to use any of the fences from this pack. And then the alternatives from the base game like are not good. <laughs> Maybe we could do a, a hedge fence. The hedge might actually be kind of cute. Oh, the hedge is a waste of money. 65 each. Okay, do the shorter one. <laughs> Save a little bit of cash that way. I just kind of liked the idea of having some outdoor space because it helps fill in the lot. The stuff is a little expensive though. I could try to use that door. You know what? The hedge looks kind of cool when it's on top of the foundation. It looks like that one that comes with the perfect patio stuff pack, but obviously it's not. <laughs> it's just the base game version. I kind of like that. All right, I gotta stop spending money on the outside because we have not furnished this literally at all. So. <laughs> We do need to kind of worry about that. The The price is definitely um, a concern to me. We did get this super cute tile from the pack, so we could probably use this. That is such an ugly color. I think I'm gonna use it. Annoyingly, I don't really have a lot in game that matches. Why do they do this? Like give us this beautiful green tile, but there's no tile that looks like it. How are you meant to use it? Oh, this... Um, should we try that? No, it's ugly, but everything's ugly. Oh wait, that actually kind of works because that has some of the green and some red like the wood and stuff is. Once you put the bathroom stuff in here, suddenly it looks really ugly again. <laughs> All of a sudden this bathroom stuff in here has totally ruined the vibes. Maybe we could do a tub instead of a shower. That's like so, so unhelpful for actual gameplay, but for the place looking good, it might be better. Oh yeah, this is totally awful. <laughs> I don't think we can do anything else at this bathroom bathroom though. It works. It's fine. It could be worse. Should we try and use a darker version of the flooring? I actually think that this swatch kind of works because it matches the light color of the door, but I can acknowledge that, um, I don't know. Is it like super jarring when it's up against this paneling? Maybe I could do the paneling in a bedroom. Ooh, no wait, the darker color kind of ties it together. That's a lot. The house looks like that. I mean, this room has that green tile, so. Oh, I wish that I could use different counters. It's not worth it though. This is 300 140. 
Like that is extremely expensive. It might be kind of cute though. Like, isn't that nice? I'm tempted. I know I shouldn't, but I am very tempted. <laughs> All right, what else do we have left? We have a bed, we have a rug. <laughs> I could always use this rug in here and then the round rug in the bedroom. Oh, maybe not. Size down? Oh, that might work. We could do the bed. We have a dresser. That is tight. Um, I think they can walk through that. We have a mirror. That's kind of ugly. Oh, we have a trash can. Oh no, we need a big trash can. Hold on. Um, that's all the furniture that we have. <laughs> we have 2100 simoleons. Uh, trash can? We have 220 simoleons left. Okay. Maybe the kid could have the fancy Realm of Magic dresser. I don't really build with this pack all that often, so I don't even know how much this stuff costs. <gasps> this is only 100 simoleons. Oh my god, that's huge. Okay, we can use that. That saves us like a ridiculous amount of money because we can get some really nice stuff for cheap. I mean, this chair is 40, these are 100. Probably not worth upgrading to them, but I might do it anyway. I don't know how much the couches from this pack cost. This one's 600. I think it's kind of worth it just to have like a bigger couch and something cuter. We could totally use this rug sized up. Wait, maybe I could use that as the main rug because we could use two of them. It's only 30 simoleons. So two is 60, that's fine. Coffee table for 200. I think that's worth the price. I'll change the colors of these these things, by the way. Don't worry, I, I will do that. <laughs> I just haven't done it yet. Right now, I'm more just trying to think about like placement, you know, like where can this stuff actually go? And then we can worry about what it looks like. I would love to have a cauldron just because it is like the Realm of Magic build, but that's 800 simoleons. So that covers like the whole exterior budget. It also leaves, um, frankly, no budget <laughs> for the other rooms. Maybe I could use this bassinet. It can be like a little infant's room. Even that's expensive. Listen, you guys, I, uh, well, it's a, okay. It's a two bedroom starter now. So we could have more money. No, I'm gonna sell this expensive TV. They can have a sad little TV because then we can get these cool bookshelves. <laughs> I really want them. There's 600 total, but they're just so pretty. Like, how can you pass that up? Ooh, that painting is 200. It's not worth it. It's not worth it. Okay, how much is this lot worth? Okay. Oh my God. All right, let's think about this. What can we logically delete to save some money? I deleted a couple lights because we don't need to have extra lights everywhere. That gives me 300. Maybe we could do the bassinet. It's a nursery. <laughs> Just a little tiny nursery. This wallpaper costs seven simoleons. So potentially deleting the wallpaper could save us some good money. This bed sucks, but there's, I mean, there is no alternative. Well, hold on. Okay, let me start thinking about like the color scheme for a sec because, oh, oh, this rug might not work. Colors are limited. <laughs> um, oh dear. Okay, uh, that's so cheap. I don't really want to like not use it, but this rug's expensive. Okay, what if we did like a flooring instead. What if we got like a swirly little rug? <laughs> None of these look nice. It's not very um pretty. Let's just say that. It's not it's not cute. Yikes. Okay. It's the color of the walls. The color of the walls is just very bold. I like it, but it is hard to work with, you know? I'm wondering if I could even do like a tile. I'm kind of looking through every single flooring that we have, trying to see what might be okay. Maybe we could do like a hot pink giraffe sort of thing. That could be nice. <laughs> Oh my god. Floor is lava. I think I would like to use a real crib or at least a real bed or something. The crib's only 200, so that's probably the cheapest bed option that we could get. Oh, and the baby could use this rug. That actually makes me think. This rug, baby's first rug. Oh no, doesn't work. <laughs> I was gonna say maybe this could work in the room, but what am I gonna do? Put like a owl? Probably not. No, baby can have this little rug. We can do it in purple. It could be kind of cute that way. Oh, that's kind of cute. The blue is fun because the blue kind of like draws the blue out in the rug. All right, we got to go into debug. <laughs> we got to start getting some free stuff. If we're gonna do this, it's the only way. Okay, hopefully, maybe there's like some, I don't know. I don't really build with this pack like I mentioned, so I'm not really sure what options we have from Realm of Magic debug. Oh, wow. Okay. Um, we also have potions. Yeah, this is gonna be rough. We do have some fun things like this. Like we could try and do some fake planter boxes. I don't know. We'll see how we landscape it, but the wands and books all cost money, so we can't use those. Ooh, you know what? I won't use these big, but maybe I could use some little mushrooms size down. That could help with the magical vibes. I was kind of starting to scare myself there with how little money we had left. So I kind of want to do some landscaping, but I'm not really sure what I'm going for with the landscaping here. I do think that it might be kind of fun to use some of 
these flowers. These are kind of cute and it might help if we're gonna use these mushrooms, but I don't really know like how much I want to do. Make sure it's not clipping inside the house too because that's the last thing we need. Like how are we feeling about something like this? There's a lot of bushes. They're kind of big. I think I might need some more bushes, like some more greenery. Ooh, what if we did a little wall? This might be kind of interesting because these pieces actually fit, like without even having to overlap them, it kind of goes straight up to the edge. So maybe that could help us? Anytime I do like any sort of starter home like this, the whole thing is just a game of trying to figure out how much we can do for like the cheapest price. <laughs> so I, I always go through debug and I try and find like anything like this that that maybe could work. I am kind of liking how these gray stones look. It might be kind of a random addition though. It's it's almost like, is what I'm doing too much? Like, am I doing this for no reason? I always struggle at this point in starter home builds to know like how much is too much? When should I stop? Like, what am I doing too much with this? But honestly, having it all fenced in like that might be kind of nice. Even if we did terrain paint instead of those stones, it might look kind of cool. I totally cannot afford this, can I? But wouldn't that be so nice? Maybe I'll just open it and we will definitely have the cauldron. It just, it feels like a necessity. This terrain paint doesn't blend in with the grass here that well. Ooh, I want to use it, but I don't think it looks that nice. I might be doing too much. <laughs> Maybe I should just delete these things. Should I just delete it and then like put the fence back and pretend that I didn't have that thought process? Because I don't know. Maybe it's these flowers. Is the purple too much? Do you think putting a couple of these little planter boxes by the door would make the door seem fancier? Because it, it is kind of a fancy house. I mean, it's not fancy expensive, but it's fancy like in style. You know what? I think that's kind of nice. I can put one on the patio too. That's free furniture. <laughs> and that's what we need is free furniture. Oh, these little rocks kind of match the color of the bricks. Actually, these don't match the color of the bricks. Maybe I could do like a more brown shade. Oh, that's way better. Okay, yeah, that's an improvement. Maybe we could just do less. Like what if we kept it like this? We could hide some of the mushrooms in these rocks and we could honestly just like say that the landscaping is done. Like what if it was kind of simple? It looks more like a starter home like this. I'll put a little light up there above the door and then maybe another one next to this door. Oh my God, it's 90 simoleons. Ugh, that is expensive. <laughs> can I make this smaller? How much smaller can I make this? Oh, that saves some money. That actually saved a lot of money. Okay, I never even got rid of that pink giraffe rug. Oh my God, the interior of this is rough. Realm of Magic doesn't even have like a little plant for the table. I want something like this, like a little tiny plant. This size, but not that one, because that one is 180 simoleons and I don't have that kind of money. I have one little tiny plant. I could buy that. Yeah, I, I liked the rug idea. I think in practice it didn't work. Perhaps one of the cheap base game rugs could work sized up. It's not that beautiful, but 325. Okay, never mind. Can't have a chair then. I think I want to get another window. We can't really have anything on the walls in here, so a window might help. Maybe a Blarfy. <laughs> Blarfy is cheap. Blarfy is cheap and good. Oh, that is clipping inside of the house. That's no good. Make all the lights more yellow toned. That's way better. Okay. And then this bedroom. <laughs> oh, it's horrible. What all do we have from Realm of Magic? Let's, let's revisit that again. We do have a bed. That's not gonna work in this starter home. We do have a little tiny side table. So maybe I could like put one side table and then scoot the bed over a little. Your sims are gonna have to scoot to get into the bed. I don't really want this mirror anymore. Anymore. That gives me some money back. Or I could keep it and have like, you know, it on the wall or something. It's just not that cute. A different wallpaper would save us some money. The bed's just awful. I don't know how you're supposed to use this. Even like the blue, I don't like. I can't even afford this one. Ugh. How much is the lot itself worth? Because the house is worth 17,748. We can assume that the lot costs like 2,000. Honest, can I give myself like 200 more simoleons just so I can have like a, a slightly better bed? Even if I had this one, this one is better. Literally anything would be an improvement. <laughs> the bar is so low. This is kind of nice though. Hold on. What do you think about that? I mean, it's. Look, it's not beautiful. I cannot afford pretty much anything else. What if I get rid of the indoor trash can? You don't need an indoor trash can. They have an outdoor trash can. And maybe I could shrink the, oh no. <laughs> maybe I could shrink the patio a little bit too. I could then scoot the plants around a little bit more. That still looks the same from the front, but it saves me a little bit of money in the back. This curio case only being a hundred simoleons is ridiculous. <laughs> How is it so cheap? 
Oh, how about this? We could switch the bed around. That might be nicer. It's like more in the open. I don't need the curio case again. It's it's too expensive, but we could use a piece of art. <laughs> This room is so sad. Nobody wants this room. It's horrible. It's better than before though. You gotta admit, this looks a lot nicer. And I have 24 simoleons left. Oh no. Let me get some terrain paint, okay? This will be like a final touch. We cannot have anything else. We are completely out of money. A little bit of terrain paint can go a long way. It's also free, which uh, in this case, is great. <laughs> Mailboxes are also free, so we can have one of those too. And you know what? I think that's a serious improvement. It's got a full outdoor space. It's got some nice furniture. I definitely prioritize the living room over, you know, the bedrooms <laughs> because the bedrooms are kind of a flop, but I also only use Realm of Magic and the base game. So if you wanted to download this, you totally could. Well, if you have the pack. I think it looks nice. I'm I'm glad that I did this. I think it'll be useful to play in. Oh no, oh no. I put it on the gallery with two mailboxes on the lot. Why didn't I see that before I uploaded it? Okay, well, you can't win everything. Sometimes, sometimes things are ugly, okay? This is one of those times. It's Realm of Magic. There's gotta be something weird. At least the house has doors, you know? There isn't like a staircase to nowhere on this one. Well, you know what? There you go. I renovated the Realm of Magic house. I think it looks a lot better. I like the shape of this a lot. I think it's kind of pretty. I wish that I could have done more landscaping and furnished the bedrooms a bit more, but I was trying to stay on budget. And I feel like we improved it a lot by adding like the cauldron and stuff so you can actually play in it. This is a good spot to start with a spellcaster. Although I don't know if I'd want to be a spellcaster with an infant because that sounds like a nightmare. But anyway, <laughs> I think on that note, I'm going to end this video right here. Thank you for watching. I hope that you enjoyed it. I do a lot of builds here on my YouTube channel. I don't always renovate like starter homes. Sometimes I build things for real. Most of the time I build things for real. So make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any of my future videos and I'm gonna catch you all tomorrow. Okay, bye everybody. Oh, this is kind of making me want to play with a spellcaster. Maybe I'll make one and play with it on stream. How about that? My name is Lil Simsy on Twitch, by the way, and I stream all the time. <laughs>